Good morning, friends. Uh, welcome to Coffee Talk. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you to the uh, Olympic ceremonies where we have first, second, and third. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling very tall today. <laughs> At least I'm not fourth. That's true. That's true. Fourth and three. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hopefully, you have a coffee or a nice warm beverage in your hand, and you're uh, just. You're able to just kind of take a deep breath today and, uh, and to just thank God for wherever you're at. And, uh, and we invite you even to just a, a hang out in a conversation with us as we, as we kind of look back and look up and look forward and, and just see what God is doing and be thankful for all these things. So uh, this last Sunday, uh, uh, Jeff took us through uh, another passage in Mark. We're going back into Mark and through this series, and we were in Mark chapter 10, and we talked about blind Bartimaeus, mm-hmm. you know, and, uh, okay, so I, before I say, uh, I was actually in a, uh, a play in my church when I was, oh. when I was in my teens, yes. and I was Jesus, of course. Oh, awesome. Um, and Foreshadowing. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Because <laughs> oh, you were the only one with the beard. <laughs> well, a little bit. I was I was a young guy with a beard who yep. who enjoyed drama. And there was a awesome. th- there was one guy who was blind Bartimaeus, uh-huh. and and like his whole thing was just like, okay, you have to be excited, and he was crazy excited but couldn't remember any of his lines, <laughs> so he was just like, oh yeah, um. Oh, oh yeah. So the guy over there, he he healed me, and um, <laughs> <laughs> so it was it was fun. So that's what I think of when I think of yeah. Bartimaeus. It kind of it that's kind of great. stuck with me a little bit. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, so um, you know, as as Jeff was uh, uh, leading us through, uh, there was a there was a question and kind of a comment that you threw out there mm-hmm. that I thought was kind of interesting that made me think of another thing. So uh, Jesus, Jesus asked Bartimaeus this, this interesting question, you know, um, what would you like me to do for you? Mm-hmm. Or what, what do you want? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's, it's a an, question every parent asks at 4 a.m. when the kid creeps in the room. <laughs> what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little different in- yeah. inflection. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I cut off your question. Keep going. No, but that's, but that's, but that's quite, quite the point as well, too. Yeah. But, you know, the, the question that I have for us even is, like, when somebody asks you what do you want, yeah. like, okay, thinking about, like, a birthday or, mm-hmm. or Christmas or something like that, when somebody asks you what, what do you want, what can I give you? What what kind of feelings kind of stir up inside? I, I know we can we can think of certain things, but what kind of feelings stir up inside? That's my question for us today. Uh huh. Honestly, I'm like, oh man, I have to think of something. <laughs> you know, because yeah. I feel like I have everything that they can get. I'm thinking my family, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, have everything they. Like I don't need them to give me anything, I you know. Right. So that's <laughs> that's honestly what comes to my mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm not going to use names, <laughs> but a certain couple I know of has this conversation, a, a similar question, very regularly. And you had you had messaged us like, what about? And it's is it a do we ask for a need? Yeah. Or. A want. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. And I, 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 every parent knows we work with our kids on this all the time. Dad, yeah. I need this. No, yeah. you don't. Yeah. <laughs> you want or, that. Or I will say, yeah. do you need it? Yeah. Uh, need that. Uh, need yeah, is exactly. a strong word. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. So, um, but I think I have a little bit of the disposition, and this is what I would counsel this couple that I'm thinking of. Um, so here's here's the scenario. I, I'm for in the years, dark here. I wonder how for many years, <laughs> for years they, they notice that their their vacuum is on the verge of dying. Mm-hmm. The verge of dying. A Black Friday sale comes up. The vacuum that she had had her eyes on for a long time is on sale for a good discount. And he's like, maybe Birthday. maybe we should just <laughs> purchase this. Our vacuum could die. Yeah. We should get we should get the replacement while it's on a good deal. Mm-hmm. Nah, the decision is no, let's wait. We'll keep waiting, we'll keep waiting. A year later, no, no, three months later. My, I wish we, I can't believe we didn't get that vacuum. That comes from her. He's like a little bit like jaw on the table. Like I, <laughs> but he, you know, he had suggested. He had, anyways, so long story short, uh, a year later, what, he comes to learn she wanted it as a gift. 
He's like, <laughs> but if we need it, if our vacuum dies, mm -hmm. it's a need. If yeah. we have the money or it's on, we should just like needs, just yeah. place yeah. it. Like what, yeah. like what kind of a gift is a vacuum cleaner, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's something you need yeah. to clean the house. Like what does it say if he comes home with a vacuum cleaner Happy birthday, honey. Yeah. yeah. Right? You know, yeah. you would yeah. you would expect that he would be sleeping out in the car or something. <laughs> <laughs> right? Take that back to the Not store, in right? this case. <laughs> but, but in this case. So it's it's yeah. one, it's an interesting question because mm. everyone comes at it differently, right? Mm -hmm. And there's no right or wrong answer. I, I think I leaned more towards the position that if it's something you need and you can afford it, then mm -hmm. that's not much of a gift. Yeah. Right. Whereas I think if someone comes to me and says, What do you need? So if Jesus like today was like, What do you need? Well, I, I, you are what you want. Mm -hmm. There is part of me that be like, I want to know you more. Like, can yeah. we go for coffee? Can yeah. we hang out? Mm -hmm. And I need that. But if we're talking about just like, you know, whatever, I probably actually, you know, if it's just a friend walked in and said, Hey, what do you want? Like, what do you want to do? Like we, we'd go yeah. do something fun. We do yeah. something mm -hmm. frivolous. We'd hang mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It probably wouldn't be a, a real, like hit you at a need. And just like when someone comes for a birthday or a Christmas idea, it's going to be like, well, I'd always want this, but I can never justify buying it because I yeah. don't need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Like it would just be, so then it's more like, well, you know, you might, wh whatever the thing would be that mm -hmm. you're collecting at the time. Yeah. Whereas boy, you know, when, when the car gets a hole in the muffler, I don't go to Sheena and say, Hey, for my birthday, I'd like to get the muffler patched. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's, yeah. So that's, that's kind of, I think, where my brain went when you yeah. asked that question. Yeah, yeah. And there's probably a lot in there you'll need to edit out because that's kind of a rambly answer. But, <laughs> no, no, uh, no, because, that's, because that's, that's what kind of stirred up in me when I, yeah. when I heard Jeff say, hmm. okay, so what do you want? And, and when we look at uh, what the disciples said, yeah. And like just in the chapter earlier, you know, what would you have me do for you? Or what, what mm -hmm. do you want? Um, it was a want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Bartimaeus said, you know what? There's a lot of things mm -hmm. I probably want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he only asked for what he needs. Mm -hmm. right? And yeah. Jeff, those were your words. Yeah. So I'm yeah. throwing them back to you. But here's yeah, my no, thing too, is I, I, I'm kind of halfway between that too of like, I'm... Hmm. The things that I want are probably too extravagant. So I'm never going to ask for them. Yeah. So, okay, so what do I need? Well, if I need it, then it's just like a budgeted item mm -hmm. item in our house. And so like, that's where it's really hard to deal with that question when somebody says, what do you want for your birthday or something like that? And it mm -hmm. just, it turns into this really weird, self-loathing, cyclical, <laughs> whatever of like, I, I, I don't, I don't know what I want or I don't, I don't want anything or I don't mm -hmm. need anything, but then I, get like two days past my birthday and I'm like, well, I wanted that thing yeah. and you shouldn't. Right. And <laughs> so, and, and it's, it's more, it's more actually a, like a, 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 a wrestling with your own selfishness kind of question, mm -hmm. which makes mm -hmm. it really difficult because mm -hmm. if you're the disciples and you're saying, this is what we want, you'd be pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. And, and you're kind of like Bartimaeus and, and it's obvious what you need and you ask for that, you know, it's, it's just interesting how Jesus also responds differently in both situations. Similar question, right? Yeah. Hmm. So uh, two thoughts do come to mind. And the first is just a little pro tip, throw that out there as a little advice for everybody. Uh, ask for something really complicated that you don't need that everyone's like, we have no idea how to do that. And they give you cash. Yeah, that's a good one. That's true. Uh, no, but the, 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 so the really what we're saying is you want cash. hundred percent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cash is yep. king. Yep. Uh, anyways, we know uh, for now, uh, anyways, uh, no, no, we're, I think in, in all seriousness, where my brain kept keeps we'll going with this passage. Later, Chris, so that, yeah. It's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she would be like rolling right now. Uh, where my brain keeps going with this actually is to Luke 19. This is where, when we were in a discussion with our life group this week, it's, it's because there's a lot of overlap in that. Mm. We don't exactly know, we're assuming that the time frame of this incident in Mark is as he's on the way to be crucified. Mm -hmm. yeah. In all likelihood, he, the way the gospel writers weave stories together, mm -hmm. it could have been a year before that and he mm -hmm. was in Jericho another time, but it really seems like because of what's coming up quickly as he mm -hmm. enters Jerusalem. Right? Yeah. Yeah. In Luke 19, it's the same thing. He's passing mm -hmm. through Jericho on his way yeah. to be, what, the very next passage after, you know, after mm -hmm. what I'm, the, it, and it's the incident with Lazarus that I'm thinking mm -hmm. of, right? At the beginning of Luke 19, and then he goes in and is coronated the king. Or, uh, you know, like as the, the, the Palm Sunday event, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, 
it says in there, as it begins describing Lazarus, and there's some similar language, he wanted to see. Hmm. Right, Lazarus, you know, wants to see Jesus, mm. and so he goes about it all himself in a way that kind of, you know, he's the, the the crowd pushes him aside, so he has to, you know, get desperate, right? Whereas with Bartimaeus, he shouts all the louder. What does mm-hmm. Lazarus do? He climbs a tree, mm. and then ultimately Jesus becomes seen by the person in an entirely. New Do you mean and special way. Zacchaeus? I said Lazarus, didn't you I? You said Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. He can see from were the you, dead. Are Thank you struggling? You. Good no, gosh, no, Kevin. I'm, I'm with you. I don't think Lazarus is there. No, no, Zacchaeus. Yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. Sorry. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for catching yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, Just because I remember it mm-hmm. in life group too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah, that, Zacchaeus, that, yeah. They, they approach Jesus in the same, in the yeah. same kind mm-hmm. of motivation, but yeah. very different ways, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Right. And I just, I love the overlap that it says like, what did Zacchaeus want? He wants to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus. And he, yeah. here we got Bartimaeus. He wanted to see. And then Jesus comes along and is seen yeah. by them. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think that's, that's, a, that's a beautiful picture. I don't know why they both don't include both stories, but that, you know, different emphasis, mm-hmm. different things, yeah. right? But you've yeah. got this, this miracle in a sense yeah. mm-hmm. where Jesus becomes seen by the outcast mm-hmm. of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good question. Um, have you ever really thought about when you asked it? I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. Around birthdays, you get you're asked what do you want. But when does somebody actually ask what do you want? What do you want? How, how often do you hear that question? I, I don't think we really. And it's a good question to wrestle with. What do I really, really want? Yeah. You know. Like, you know, you said cash because you're thinking birthdays, but when you go deeper, well, okay, let's say you, you think you do want cash. Because um, I know you're saying that for birthdays, but if you, if you think that's what you really want, what's underlying that? Why do I want that? And then you go deeper and deeper and, and really, you know, I think the core that people want is love, joy, peace. What are those? Fruits of the Spirit. Who do we really want? Jesus. You know, like, yeah. so that that's, as I wrestled over with your what do I want question, but, yeah. I, it was, I, I thought this was an amazing passage because um, it just kind of brought to life what he had been doing for the last, you know, like, he's bringing sight to the, yeah. to all of us, right? Like, yeah. spiritual sight. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> is that it's it's challenging just because also because I I stink at coming up with answers because mm-hmm. I will I will get asked that question by extended family members what do you want yeah mm-hmm. for your birthday or for Christmas and it becomes I don't know or like highly specific or you know uh, for these people it's like oh I could never give them cash gift mm-hmm. cards are the worst because you want to be able to give that to them see them open right. it see their reaction right yeah but <clears throat> what we've what we started doing as a family a little bit more, and I think it's just because we're getting much older and hopefully wiser, we're actually not asking for things anymore. We're actually experiences mm-hmm. are what's doing it mm-hmm. for us. Mm-hmm. So even like our birthdays are like, don't, don't give me anything because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I could buy with, you know, sorry, sure, some, somebody's given me some cash, great. Mm-hmm. But you know what I really love is to be able to do this thing with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or with my family, mm-hmm. or yeah. with right, and and that's that makes better anniversaries. That makes better birthdays. Mm-hmm. That and you know, Chris, you can also double up on that as well too. You could do Christmas birthday all in the same day, right? Yeah. Or or it'll backfire on you, and people you know double up and give you half as much. <laughs> well, I've had some lots of wonderful BC fairies experiences <laughs> for my birthday yeah. Christmas over yeah. the years. So you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's all, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I think it's a good question to wrestle with, you know, and, and even mm-hmm. sometimes even to say, you know, like, what do I really want? Write it down. Or what do I really need? Write it down. And just maybe even think about those lists. Mm-hmm. Think about how, how probably they are getting fulfilled quite a bit and you don't even realize it as well too, you know? And, um, why, like, you, you ask why, right? Why yeah. do I want that? Yeah. And then something else comes out. Oh, okay. Well, why that? And 
you can kind of bore down yeah. with uh, with those questions. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. No, it's 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 <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. It just it, sorry. It just brought up another uh, conversation I had on an airplane with someone a number of years ago, and he was talking about doing. Um, international um, relief work mm -hmm. where they would go into community and they would they actually were asking that question of communities and they say what do you want mm -hmm. and what they then often he relayed what they would have to then filter out is that motive question because mm -hmm. how often is it what they wanted because they experienced a need and they're like we need this and so therefore we want it and how much was it uh, um, well this other village over here has that mm -hmm. and we would like that too yeah. Yeah. And, and I think that's then uh, that the getting that motive question, I think, is really yes. important for all of us, yeah. because then we have to wrestle with too. Do I want it because I need it, or do I want it because it will enhance life, or do I want it just because somebody else does? Yeah. Mm. Or it's the yeah. only thing being offered. Right. Yeah. Is is yeah, my like, are my dreams so small I can't think bigger? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I when you said going into communities, mm -hmm. um, as North Americans who think we have you know, the, the, all the riches, all this kind yeah. of stuff. We tend to think we know what people need. That's a good point. And we too. don't ask yeah. that question, and, and we need to learn from that question, too. Like, we need to, to ask and really listen, because sometimes our assumptions are very wrong, right? And, um, and that's a really valuable lesson for us to learn when we're, we're wanting to offer something, yeah. you know? Yeah, wow, that's a deeper question yeah. than I realized when, no, you, when you said it. <laughs> it's good, yeah. and and it you know dive, dives down to motivation and what mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. where what do we really want and where and and when Jesus asks us what do you really want or need, right? Mm -hmm. I think it strips away a lot of the mm -hmm. oh I would like this particular toy or <laughs> you know a new one yeah. of these, right? Yeah. It it can strip a lot of that away, mm -hmm. and then hopefully even lead you to a sense of thanksgiving to say, wow, I, I actually am mm -hmm. highly blessed and I have everything I need. Well, yeah. yeah, and it helps us, you know, actually think, I do have Jesus, right? Yeah. I do, you know? Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. as you as you maybe ponder some of these questions too, and hopefully you've had a chance to go back and, and listen to the sermon if you, if you weren't uh, with us on Sunday morning, uh, go back and have a listen and, and a look and, and see that, you know, like Christ, Chris said, not Christ, but Chris said, you know, we're, we're moving into this Common next mistake. section. We're moving into this <laughs> next section where, you know, Jesus is heading uh, into, into Jerusalem and, mm -hmm. and we're going right into uh, Palm, yeah. Palm Sunday kind of thing. Yeah, I know. Uh, this, <laughs> a little early. Week, right? <laughs> Palm Sunday, like but in the yeah, winter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So uh, it's, it's exciting. It'll, it'll be, mm -hmm. it'll be like a nice warm warm day for us I yeah but uh it'll, it'll feel like uh easter this this next little while as well too as we kind of work this this next section of of mark mm -hmm. and um and coming up uh even within the life of lakeview hopefully you've kind of been keeping track of some of those things so just a reminder uh um next week youth is different yeah, Christy, it is so that. we're not meeting on monday night because on tuesday night all of the youth of West Kelowna have been invited to get together. Like invites have gone mm -hmm. out to like every church uh, um, in West Kelowna, and we're inviting the youth to get together at Emmanuel at seven o'clock mm -hmm. for a special uh, event. It's the first of what hopefully will be uh, a regular, somewhat regular, mm -hmm. uh, reoccurring thing, where we just try and build bigger community mm -hmm. with with our youth. Yes, yeah. cool. So seven o'clock on the thirty-first, which is Tuesday night at uh, at Emmanuel Church. Yeah, so That's exciting. Cool. Yeah, grade six to twelve. So if you've got a neighbor, uh, niece, nephew, grandchild, even child of your own in that zone, we'd love to have them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Just a wonderful night just to drop in. Yep. And just hang out mm -hmm. from seven till uh, nine. nine. Seven to nine. Okay. Yep. Oh, this is an uh, all nighter again. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's a school night. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. It is a school night. Yeah. Uh, that's how you ring in February 1st. Plus, yeah. I have been told I'm not allowed to stay up all night. <laughs> I am not my best. Did you have a, a case of the grumpies? <laughs> no, more case of the extreme foggies. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was right in the middle of the fog, too. So it, it was. It kind of, yeah. yeah, it matched. I was just like, I'm perfectly content in my own <laughs> yeah. head right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> my wife's like, you might need to see Jake. Uh, so she was legitimately concerned. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, mm. uh, yeah. yeah. So then uh, that's, that's this next week. And then uh, a week from Sunday, February 5th, we have our AGM. Mm-hmm. What time is that, Jeff? 1.30. Yes. Yes. Or uh, 13.30. For, <laughs> yeah. Those on. That's right. Hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody. 1.30. <laughs> yeah. When's the 13th? We're doing the it during the day so that more people don't have to drive in the dark and, yeah, and, uh, yeah makes yeah. it open for more people. So. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're excited about that. And anybody can join. Um, if you uh, call Lakeview Home and you care about it, just come mm-hmm. and hang out. And, you know, they're... They'll be coughing and donuts, so we'll we'll have a chance just to hang out and just be together. Mm-hmm. And you can, um, uh, you know, have a look at the uh, AGM that'll come out uh, that same day as well too, and just kind of prepare yourself so that you can even come to come to the AGM with some questions yeah. or some thoughts or mm-hmm. great, this is wonderful. Let's keep moving, right? And um, it's it it helps us. It helps us. Uh, um, be at our best when we communicate well, I think. And so, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Excellent. And so that's uh, February 5th. And then looking ahead a couple more weeks, um, February 18th, it's a Saturday night, uh, it's the West Side Warriors um, Faith Night. And so that's also on Family Day weekend in BC. Mm. And it's also different than Alberta. So if you're watching I it thought, in a different province. Is it different now? I thought BC changed the weekend of our Family Day to the line <sighs> Did we? with Alberta. But I thought it was like... We'll, we'll have to look that up. I mean, I don't mm. know anybody in Alberta. That Seven different through. provinces were on, <laughs> on this <laughs> weekend. And then the rest were on another uh, one. It was, it was all over. It's, it it's a, but for us, it's that weekend. It is, 100%. <laughs> family Day weekend. Yep. Could you imagine, like, just starting to randomly do that? Oh, yeah, um, December 12th is now Christmas for we, us. Well, we were having a youth leaders <laughs> meeting this week, and we were looking ahead at March and talking about a youth event. And someone's like, well, that's uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I went, only in Newfoundland. And sure enough, they, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they really? do St. Patrick's Day two days later than the rest of the world. <laughs> but wow. our calendar shows two St. Patrick's Days. Oh. And, uh, uh, whatever. Wow. So yes, there's some holidays like <laughs> holidays. That's a weird yeah. one to consider yeah. a holiday, but whatever. Yeah. So Warriors Faith Night uh, tickets are thirteen dollars, but please buy those in advance. Yes. From us, mm-hmm. with us, for us, what, whatever, so that you can get a seat with all of us, and you can also get that group rate. If you wait too long, you're not going to get a ticket, or you'll have to get it at the Warriors office um, you might uh, be later on, in the stadium, and you'll yeah. be. <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, somewhere else. If so, there's seats left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we want to be able to sit together and hang out and just mm-hmm. have a fun little uh, Lakeview party. And all these other churches are kind of doing the same thing. So uh, join with us. Uh, it's going to be really exciting, and, and we encourage you in that. So um, thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for, um, thanks for just being a part of our lives, and we'll uh, talk to you soon.